Okay, we're back. Let's um let's go ahead and take out Zop. So since this Moth of Wrath is by himself, we'll just tab him. Fear Scroll is a good move against those guys. You should have a few left over probably by the time you get here. But if they're alone, it's not that big of a deal. Try to lure stuff one at a time over here. Now we're constricted, so we'll just take out the tentacle guy first. Okay, so we got discard rolling. Um, okay, if we get berserked, it's not that big of a deal. If he gets berserked, it is a big deal. Um, let's blink. Oh, right, you can't. Um, you cannot. Mm. You can't Yara's off berserk. What to do? Um, maybe snakes. And then if we hit him one more time, he ought to die. There we go. Melee works out for us this time. Unfortunately, Power Leap is uh, not quite strong enough to one-shot these guys. They have quite a lot of hit points. Let's just reset the fight and go back down. I definitely recommend Power Leaping. If you're using Rue, Power Leaping to finish off the Electric Golems because they do a ton of damage. They can actually do pretty good damage even through our Lek. Um, and Power Leap lets you finish off that last little bit of damage that's otherwise pretty obnoxious to get. Okay, um, I'm gonna, okay, that's cool. He, he tormented us, um, but he got paralyzed for his trouble, so we'll just finish him off. I was kind of hoping the Moth of Wrath would berserk me, um, because obviously being berserk is a good thing if you're trying to kill a curse toe really fast. But all's well, that's end well that ends well. Like I said, we should be able to tab most of this, and anything we can't tab, we'll just we'll just discord it. And remember, discord is only a level eight spell. I had to train quite a lot to get it to cast ability, but that's because I have um, that's because I have minus whiz, right? Um, it's only a level eight spell, so you can actually get it online insanely quickly. Especially on something with such an incredible apt like a felid. So try it out sometime on a vampire if you would prefer something that has a really good hex apt and isn't uh, miserable to play. Which I think felid probably is miserable to play for most people. Um, and I think I think the vampires still have. Uh, hmm. Let's go up. Not a shifter, not a storm caller. Oh, this is okay. I'll take out the berserk thing first. Really, I should be confusing because the MR on most of these draconians is total crap. So it's nice to take advantage of that when you can. Let's um, let's pop down another staircase since that one seems to be bit protected. Oh, we got a orb of fire. Go to dragon form. Oops, I didn't mean to extend my transformation. I wanted to discord. Alright, so this is a fun way to kill orbs of fire. It probably won't kill it, but maybe. 
At the very least, the Orb of Fire will kill all of the, the guys around it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll make a forest, which probably won't do much. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Orb of Fire. I mean, we have... We have Arlac, actually, so the Storm Dragon won't be a problem, and we have RF++, so we can probably just... swing. Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. Okay, that's pretty bad. Um, what do we want to do? Um... I think I'm going to draw up power and go back into dragon form. Didn't realize dragon form was ending there. Well, let's just go up. We've killed the orb of fire, so... We will go up and rest, resetting the fight. And go down another staircase, the same one we were on before, which should be less impeded now. Unfortunately, we've gotten... Um, probably the worst mutation if you want to do good spell power on your spells. So, uh, for hexes, it's like the worst mutation for a hexer. Probably want to take, probably want to take that off pretty soon. Oh, let's staff form before we're bouncing around here too much. walk away from this stuff. Um, we'll let Discord do the work. Let's go up. Oh, didn't quite work for us. Um, we'll yar as that. We end up with a nice mutated um, tentacle monster. And we kill them very quickly. The rest of what's around us. Kind of by the book here. Nothing too hard in Zot for this character. Um, I mean, with the power of transmutations and that 10% hit points mutation, uh, we actually have almost... We almost look like a regular a regular power character with... Uh, we almost have 200 hit points, so... It almost feels like we're not a felon anymore. Let's teleport. Shouldn't have let that get that far. But the Discord stuff we left behind is getting some kills for us. That's nice. And we'll rest up. Let's, um... Let's kill these. Okay, good. We'll Discord this stuff. <laughs> nice. Some cob on cob action there. And we'll finish it off with the Yaras. Let's Discord a few more times. Jeez, that's not working out for us. Um, got hit by a bolt of fire. Remember, we don't have RF plus when we're in staff form. That is the one downside to this character, is that we're really vulnerable um, from resistances. So we're going to Apocalypse. Take out the dragon walk away and hopefully hmm, may want to teleport. I was hoping that the frenzy stuff would take this out and we wouldn't see anything else come from this direction, but no such luck. I don't want to teleport. And we still only have one extra life, so we would really prefer not to die here. So let's make a forest. I really like to drink a potion, but I can't. Hey, a scroll of acquirement. Let's remember that we have that for this fight. Ooh, and we get we get hit. We get hit with the um, dispelling energy from the purple draconian, so that means we're not going to be a statue much, lo much longer. So let's use fear. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, really, really bad. Probably going to die here. Probably going to die here. Okay, we'll blink. And we'll blink again. I need to drink a potion. I need to either drink a potion or or draw a power, and I can do neither. 
I'm gonna hmm, I'm gonna holy word. The cob will convulse. And then we're just gonna walk away. We're gonna get hit, unfortunately. Um, walk away. Jeez. Yeah, the cob had a couple of chances not to do anything there. Um, he actually did. Um, but because he he was um, he was not just um, under the effects of holy word. He also had the rue defense to get through. And he also could have missed due to our massive evasion. Or he could have not done any damage to me thanks to AC. Um, but he got past all that and swung and killed us. Which can happen. Now we're in the danger zone. We have zero extra lives. Um, so we're going to need to be really careful. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do real fast. And I recommend you do this too on a cat if you're in a rough spot. Um, we're going to, well, we're going to tab through this stuff. Uh, I'm going to scum the lair just a little bit. I mean, we have, we're not going to run into a food clock problem because we're like engorged and, uh, you know, from, from, we're engorged from the from our ability, our carnivorous or gourmand ability. So we're probably not going to run out of food. Nothing in here can really kill us. So this is just a way to get a little bit of experience, get a little bit of the way to getting our life back um, and not really be at risk. So I'm holding Shift X and then Control F to forget the map. And then I'm just kind of auto-exploring it. And, um, you know, certainly I could just do it the slow way and just fight my way, or the fast way. I mean, it's actually probably faster to fight in Zot to do this. But it's also dangerous. So we'll do this. Um, I'm not going to count the actual turns. Eventually, spawning turns off here. Um, I'll just kind of auto-explore until it seems like nothing's spawning anymore. Our spawns have slowed down. The reason we chose Lair to do this is... Um, Out-of-depth spawns are not a problem here. Sorry if this is a little bit boring, but this is one of those necessary evils. I mean, I guess you don't have to do it, um, but I'm trying to streak on a felid, and I've made enough mistakes that I ended up with no lives. So if I want to be careful here going forward, I would really, really like to have that wiggle room of, you know, of an extra life. I think we've probably, yeah, we finished out layer six. So we'll go to layer five, we'll do the same thing. And we're just gonna do this every single floor. Like I said, nothing in here can kill us uh, unless I were to do something extraordinarily dumb. So. Oops, let's pick up that corpse and eat it. This is the, this is the penance. <laughs> this is the penance I pay uh, for, this is the penance I pay for playing sloppy and Zot. Um, and once we get another couple levels, um, we should get 
the life back. I'm not sure exactly when it'll happen. I think, oh geez, I think I have to be level 27, so we'll just scum out the lair real quick. Shouldn't take too long. If we're lucky, we'll get like some really, really big death yak packs. Those are still worth a decent amount of experience. We started with 70%, we're already at 83, so... Don't think that this is like... Tiny, useless amounts of experience. It's definitely putting us closer to the goal. I could do this in dungeon or depths. Uh, it would probably be worth a lot less experience in dungeon. Um, and if I did it in depths, uh, it'd be a lot more dangerous. Because I could get like caustic strikes or something and just die. I will tell you one thing, I bet we would not have died like three out of those four times if I had Pog. Well, not, it wouldn't have saved us in Zod because Pog isn't usable in Zod, but... Let's look up translocation to see if I've missed anything. Unfortunately, I have not. Alright, so layer four. Kind of doing it from the bottom up. Um, also, we could we could scum if we wanted to. We could scum the layer branches, like snake pit, swamp, whatever, whatever spawned, and those are pretty safe because again, it only it only has the table to draw upon. Uh, it only has the table to draw upon of the monsters that are in that place. I think we'll call layer three done, or layer four done. Oh geez, what a shame. And again, not, not strictly necessary, this is just something I'm doing because, I mean, if I got this far, in what's supposed to be a 15 rune run, and then I perma splatted. I don't think that would make for very entertaining videos. Um, I'm tempted. I may. I may cut this out, but then again, I may not. Not not out of like laziness, but because um, I kind of want to demonstrate that this is a viable strategy. I mean, you're gonna rocket up your turn count, so if you care about that, then. Uh, don't do it, but if you don't care about turn count like me and you only care about winning, well, perfectly viable. At the very least, we may not walk out of this with an extra life, but we're at least going to walk, we're going to walk out of it uh, being XL26 again, at the very least. Oh wow, we may actually have to eat some perma food. Oh nope, link frogs to the rescue. Cool thing about being a felid, it makes this a lot easier. I mean, you could do this on another race. Like, let's say you've reached lair, and maybe you've cleared out lair, and you have the strong feeling that your character is just not strong enough to do one of the lair branches or to finish out. I don't know, maybe you're lacking, maybe you're lacking MR, you're afraid of doing orc. Uh, maybe it's just a really weak character. Maybe you're like a demigod, and you are lacking experience because, well, that's what happens when you're a demigod. Well, you can totally scum lair. Um, if you have gourmand, it makes it a lot easier to do it without burning through permafood. Things to watch out for. Uh, well, if you're worshipping a god that's not Ru or Gozag, um, you're obviously you're going to have a problem because you're going to have Piety uh, Drain to deal with. Formerly, Fedhaas did not have Piety, piety um, Decay. That's where your Piety drops over time. Now Fedhaas has that. So you can't do this with Fedhaas anymore unless you're willing to take a little bit of Piety Decay. Now, you're going to kill things fast enough that your Decay is not going to happen that fast. 
um, because you're going to get the kills, which your god probably likes, um, and then you're going to you're going to be able to do it that way. So that's that's an option. Um, but Rue is the one where you can do it with the ultimate safety because there's no piety decay with Rue. Um, you can do it with Gozag too, although bear in mind that with Gozag, you're getting gold, but you're not getting food, so you're going to be burning through your permafood like anywhere else you're going. So I wouldn't really recommend doing it with Rue unless you've got a bunch of gold that you can burn through. And if you're doing, if you're worshipping Rue, your character probably isn't, um, or sorry, if you're worshipping Gozag, what I'm saying is I don't recommend doing it with Gozag. I do recommend doing it with Rue if you want to. But what I'm what I'm saying about Gozag is if you're worshipping Gozag, your character's probably strong enough that why would you need to scum layer? Um, for the most part, you're probably only going to want to do it on like a Felid. Okay. Uh, what do we want to scum next? We've pretty much cleared out the lair. Uh, I'm going to scum a little bit of Swamp next. This is, um, this is going to be slightly more annoying because there's less food in here. But we have a lot of permafood, so we should be okay. I suppose bog bodies could probably kill us here if they decided to um, spam Bolt of Cold on me. not a lot and things are worth a little more experience in here I'm trying to at least get back to XL 26 oh, come on there we go up to 92 experience our first permafood after starting all this. So yeah, our turn count's gonna get ratcheted up a bit by this. But, like I said, I, I just don't care. Alright, uh, Thorn Hunter could kill us. Oh jeez, somebody blasting music outside my house. Okay, Summon Forest, by the way really fun thing to use in Swamp um, because there's so much forest around you. Uh, so that's a fun thing to do. Let's just let our buddies do the work on this guy. Takes away the risk, you know. Or lessens it. Even at this point in the game, we could still we could still get wrecked by a thorn hunter. And since we have no wiggle room with uh, an extra life, well, don't want to take any risks at all, really. So there are, there are some people who think that this is like cheating. Um, in fact, I, if you think about it, people call it scumming. You may not be familiar with the phrase. I always thought it was like kind of a stupid phrase um, because it's like it's kind of passing a judgment on how you're playing the game um, by calling it scumming. Like the the original, it originally came from somebody made up this thing. They called it save scumming, and the idea was that if you played solo um, and you you could like make a backup. I know that you can make like a backup of your save if you play this solo, which is why I play online. Um, oh, what am I doing? I need to make a forest. Yeah, so like you could make a backup of your save, and then if you die, you just get your dude back and you know, whatever. Um, to me, that's straight up cheating because you're doing something that's not intended. You have to modify the game files to do that. Um, whereas I'm doing something that the game, I mean, it's it's in the game. I can do it. Um, if 
if the devs didn't want people doing this, they would make it impossible. They would make it so that things don't keep spawning. I mean, this is just me taking advantage of the way that the game works. Um, and by all means, if you wanna if you wanna stop things from spawning, um, frankly, I hope they do go in that direction, stop things from spawning after you've cleared a floor. I think that would be awesome because it would lessen your chances of going up a staircase and being surprised with like a hydra next to you. So I'd be I'd be down with that change. I might even be down with like Hellcrawl style, um, making it so you can't. Um, you can't even go back upstairs <laughs> once you've gone up, which is a thing in the Hellcrawl mod. Wow, they really die fast to moccasins. You wouldn't think they would be that fragile, the thorn hunters, but they sure are. But yeah, um, I do recommend that you take advantage of things like this, because it's, it's in the game, you know. If it's something that overall gives your character more power. You could certainly, um, there's, there's also Abyss scumming, but I don't recommend it. Um, because it's actually a dangerous place to go, even if it does endlessly spawn things. Okay, we got level 26 back. Welcome back to level 26. Sadly, we still are lacking an extra life, but we're going to get part of the way there. But yeah, um, after save scumming was invented, and this, these are terms that go back way, way farther than dungeon crawl. Um, I suspect these were things people made up way back when Rogue was a game um, that was new. Maybe it's not quite that old, but I'm not really sure, but I'm sure that it's older than dungeon crawl. Um... So, like, they, they expanded it to just, like, like scumming by itself would sometimes refer to what I'm doing, where you get experience. Or they would add, like, they would add a noun or an adjective before it, um, and that's the kind of scumming you're doing. And, and it's just funny to me that the name is, it's like, oh, it's scumming, it's so bad. But <laughs> that's just because, like, some, some dude decided that he thought it wasn't the way you should play the game, and it's just like, who cares, you know? I mean, honestly, if you, if, if you enjoy, uh, if you're playing solo and you enjoy playing with, like, saves, by all means, go ahead. I do think that's against the spirit of the game, and, uh, kind of what I'm doing is a little bit against the spirit of the game, but if you enjoy it, go ahead. It's whatever, man. Uh... I would say that you couldn't, if you, if you're using, if you're modifying game files, you haven't, and you, and you win, you haven't really beaten the game. I will, I will go as far to say that, but, um, pretty much anything else, anything that you can do in this game, that the game allows, it's, it is what it is, you know? Now, you might tear your hair out, uh, with the tedium of it. And the other thing is, the game actually, it does punish you for doing this with the food clock, it punishes you with pie to decay, there's ways around it, which I'm using, but it still punishes you mechanically for doing this, or tries to. Um, and on top of that, if, um, if you care about, like, e or whatever, it punishes you in that way too, because it does take away score. So, if you spend a billion turns doing a bunch of stuff, well, I mean, eventually the game actually will just end. I think it's at like two million turns. Um, but, or maybe it's 200 million, I'm not sure. But like, you also lose a significant amount of points off your game score um, if you, if you scum. I don't really know. I, I really shouldn't even call it scumming, like, since I think that name's dumb. I should say, like, farming. Like, farming experience is really what I'm doing. Oh, jeez, really... Now I'm really hitting my permafood. Let's see if we can't, um... Well, I'll go back to Snake Pit. So I've farmed out Lair. I've farmed out, um, Swamp for the most part. Now I'm doing Snake Pit. 
We're five percent into level twenty-six. Once we're twenty-seven, I think I will get I will get my extra life, which is what I'm so desperately trying to get. This is like the worst part of the game for this to have happened. Um really should have been being more careful on account of that. Maybe I should just do this in depths and I mean the benefit of doing it in depths, even though it is dangerous because it could spawn a caustic shrike, it could spawn like a Well, the thing is, despite the fact that it could it could spawn like an ancient lich that kills me instantly with LCS or whatever, but at the very least, if I farm that out um, on the orb run, um, I won't have to deal with any random spawns other than the orb run spawns. Not that I think that's really a big risk on the orb run usually. some more experience here. We're up to 9%. And we've already, of course, gotten to level 26 again, so... Progress is happening. Even if it's a bit slow going. We'd probably be done with Zop by now. Easily, actually. Okay, we'll get Power Leap here. Take out the stuff that can do fire to me and clear those guys out. And now we get a nice pile of food because salamanders are edible. Oh, hey. A lot of stuff in here. Let's just discord it. Get some experience off that without too much risk. That was nice. It's nice when you're doing this and a big pack of things spawns because then you can, you can actually get a nice chunk of experience all at the same time. And remember, by the way, I have 20 meat rations, but there's also all this food for sale, so I'm not totally screwing myself on permafood here, even if it looks like it. Oh, Yar is this guy. What I'll probably at least do, um, I probably won't cut this out now that I'm thinking about it, um, of the video, I mean. But what I will do is I'll add, like, I'll see if I can't add some annotations. Or not, not annotations, but um, timestamps. I don't actually know how to do that on YouTube, but I know it's possible. Um, so in, like, the description of the video, I will... I'll add timestamps. And then, then if you, uh, you want to skip past all this stuff... Than you can, because I'm sure that it's a bit tedious. Hey, we're at seventeen percent. So, as you can see, we're getting we're getting progress, and it's fairly safe. I mean. What's this stuff going to do to me, really? It can't really kill me. Uh, well, we could get blinked. Or... Could get, um... By the spirit distortion, we could get abyssed, so... Shouldn't speak too soon. Could get abyssed and then just die from that. We actually like seeing these salamanders since they are what we are eating in here. I guess I should be happy that I chose Ru as a god, since he's one of the only ones that makes this possible. Although I still think that a little bit of this with like any any god that's pleased by killing like Machlev or whatever, a little bit of this is doable. Little known fact, um, Zot never stops spawning. Like, no floors of Zot will stop spawning units. 
So you can do this in Zot interminably, at least until the maximum turn count of the game. Um, and that's doable. But you'll have to deal with orbs of fire every so often, stuff like that. Um, and things will spawn there a little more often since it never it never even slows down. So you can more easily, like if you're trying to prepare for extended, um, and you can kill everything in Zot pretty easily, including orbs of fire, which um, in most cases that would mean that you can take extended pretty easily, but in some cases it might not. Um, and you just, maybe you just want to feel a little more confident, maybe you just want to get that experience. Uh, that's fine. You can totally scum Zot. Get a ton of experience very easily in there. I may even do it on this character, although I'd rather not, especially after this nonsense. Oh, jeez. I guess that's going to be it for Snake Pit. Hmm, what to do? Well... I think I'll just do depths one as much as I don't want to. See if I can't get a stab on this brain. It's not happening. Uh, we got a Reaper here. That's okay. He's just got a Scythe of Venom, so we'll just kill him. We'll get experience a lot faster here in the depths. And at the very least, I know I'll only have to deal with one pack at a time, probably. Um, so even if it is Caustic Shrikes, it's not the end of the world. So remember, we still have Apocalypse. Just, just because we're running low on lives, we have no extra lives, doesn't mean that we've lost our real abilities. So Apocalypse is still our get-out-of-jail-free card. Just try not to run out of mana. Turned into a red dragon there because um, because of the red ugly things. Don't want to take the fire damage. Kill these shapeshifters. Okay, already up to twenty six. Unfortunately, I forgot to eat this corpse, but I got it now. Uh, let's hope the human's still here. It is. We'll get some more food. Very good. Honestly, it may be in our best interests to, after I'm done with this whole scumming thing, um, maybe go into, like, hell instead of Zot, because at least there I can use a scroll of blinking. Um, maybe like, as silly as it sounds, maybe dis. I shouldn't be going staff for him uh, until I see a monster. I'm just hitting my food clock with all that. I think we killed off Depths 1, so we'll do Depths 2 again. Okay, we got this brown ugly thing. No pack for some reason. Oh, hey! I just now noticed we've got, um, we skipped something in here. Um, this is, there's some stuff. There's a whole section of this. So we'll, um, we'll take a look at that here in a second. Oh, sorry, I had a problem with my mic for a second there. So yeah, normally you would use a wand of digging to get in there. It's like a, if it's what I think it is, it's like this big vault that has to do with um, slavery. It's like got a slave shop and it's just like wands of enslavement and things like that. Whips and a bunch of orcs are everywhere and ogres and it's kind of like a mini, 
Kind of like a mini orc mines, only with um, giants and stuff as well, more than usual. We could blink past this. Um, I'm kind of... I was hoping that my trees would pull him and kill him for us. See, I don't want to... Um, oh, jeez. This turns out we can absolutely... Um, we can totally yar as our own dryad. Okay, now he's in a frenzy. Let's walk away from him and see if he kills anything. I just hear shouts. It's not killing anything, though. That's a shame. See, my fear is if I go over there, I'm I'm in a bind because um, I can't I can't break down. There's really no way I can break down these gates. Uh, greats, unless I have Rapid Deconstruction, which hasn't spawned, or Shatter, which obviously I, I can't cast yet. Um, I can Power Leap over. You can imagine how this might be a problem, but I'm just going to do it. I'll take the risk, because I can always blink past. And you know what I forgot? I completely forgot that I had that acquirement scroll. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, this is fine. Let's Discord, and then we'll leap across and let that stuff, let that stuff fight each other. Okay, let's um, scroll of acquirement. Um, jewelry, book, food, or gold. I think book is the obvious choice. Book of geomancy. That's an interesting option. Uh, I guess we have LRD available to us, but I don't really care to have it. Um, yeah, nothing really I can use here that's particularly useful to me. So let's just kill this ghost. I mean, I think it's pretty clear at this point. I was hoping for some high-level translocation. Oh, jeez. Hmm. He's confusing touch. Of course the Titan is able to kill the Cyclops really quickly. Uh, what to do? Well, this guy doesn't see invisible, so we'll invis. And we'll kill him. We just want to be able to... Um, we just want to be able to pop ourselves back over the grate. This isn't so bad. Kill the rock Sasha so that the copies it made of the Iron Troll go away. Uh, we'll discord and we'll hop out and maybe that iron or maybe that deep troll will kill some stuff for us and it does. I see we see more experience. We feel more experienced rather. Now we'll make sure that we're in stat form before we go back over here. Oop. Got the wizard here. He can actually LCS us from uh, a lot of damage so Glad I got the confuse on him so quickly. Eat up until we're engorged. Let's just kill this stuff. So this is a nice little pile of experience, a little um little area that we missed going through here. Ah, cool, we get the stabs. Our stealth is really paying off for us here. I do find this to be a rather interesting vault. I enjoy any vault that is very big and breaks up the dungeon into something that you're not really expecting especially if it has an interesting theme. The idea that this is like some kind of slaver camp comes across really well. Uh, and I think the most interesting thing about it is that it does this. Um, it, it does this without any kind of text. Like you can really tell that these are little houses. There's like a water basin. It's like the bathroom, I guess. There's like a flame for, for them to cook, presumably. And it's really, it's able to tell this story of these trolls and giants and orcs living together as like slavers 
And every single house is like thematically organized. Like this iron troll had a bunch of corpses in his house because, you know, he's just, just an iron troll. He's all bestial. Um, the orc houses are a little more um, like civilized looking. Uh, there's like bolts in the Yaktar's house. So it's like this beast man camp. Um, there's this some necromancer's house, I guess. Oh, there's a vampire living here. Okay. There's like slaves here for him to turn into um, undead, so probably, I guess. I don't want to fight that. Um, I'm, I'm kind of I'm upset that there's an ancient lich in here because I, I can't really fight it safely. Uh, I can't guarantee he won't just LCS me twice in a row and kill me. Mm, I guess I can just go on the snake plan. I guess. I'm invisible so they don't see me. They'll mostly just kill each other. But whatever. So the snake plan only works if the lich is actually close by. <laughs> Otherwise. Alright, let's walk away. Oh, we're slow. We're definitely going to want to walk away from this thing. Get the slow off. Get the exhaust off. Hmm... Okay, well, he doesn't have LCS. We can probably kill him pretty easily. Of course, he's going to haunt us. Let's uh, pop over here. Rest up until the haunt's over. Come back up and kill the giant. Not so bad. Okay, now go on the snake plan and we'll just we'll just kill this guy it's fine all he really had to do damage to us was um, poison arrow for the most part bolt of draining wasn't gonna do much to us Ooh, book of unlife um, okay we'll just that was for sale already but we, we didn't buy it um, I'm gonna drop it out here some giants here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Slaves and accessories. <laughs> Evo docks, slaves and accessories are here. So, um, this is where I was talking about you get, like, effectively infinite wands of enslavement. Very nice stuff if I didn't have artifice sacrificed. Enslavement being one of the best things in the game. Ooh, Mara. Mmm, I don't want to fight Mara right now. Um... Well, I've got three scrolls of blinking. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna pop on Profire. I'm going to Discord here. Um, the Etten flies into a frenzy. Good. So the Etten ought to kill Mara for us. Okay, good. We can pop our regular ring back on, and we can just kind of walk away. So, the, the, overpowered Etten plan works yet again. Um, we are as him. Let's walk away from the Titan. Or let's, let's like pull back here so I can um, power leap away if I need to. All right, cool. But yeah, the, the discord, the discorded Etten strategy, <laughs> uh, there's not a lot that it doesn't take care of for you. Jeez, that wizard could have been a problem. Oh, uh, let's... Hmm... Confuse? No? Blink? 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 I don't want to fight all these at once. <sighs> Snakes. 
some snakes. Okay, I really don't want to be next to all these things at once. Um, fine, I'll just make... I'll just make the forest. And of course it blinks me right into them. I'll just... I'll just stab it, it's fine. That could have gone badly. We definitely could have gotten hit by, like, six flails full damage. And died, maybe? Not so sure with all the massive GDR that stat form provides. It was unlikely, though. And discording, um... Discording boggers is really satisfying. Alright, so... The um, ironically named Miraculous Elixir Shop, which is just mutation. We're gonna buy it all. That's 4,800 gold worth of potions of mutation, and boy, let me tell you, I think that was well spent. We've also got this food shop here for lady later. It's uh, jerky. I think the implication here is that they're eating the slaves. Um... And I like that the legendary smithy has crappy weapons and armor. All in all, just a really, a really thematic, um, really thematic sub branch. I would almost call it a sub branch. It's just a big vault, but I don't know who made this. I haven't looked it up, but whoever did props, I think it's really good. I don't think they'll ever see me. Obviously, they'll probably not see this video, but if you do, really good vault. Probably one of the best vaults. I also enjoy the full the full floor depths um, depths vault, which is uh, which is like for the enchantress, and it's just a big forest. So we're at 63%. So we should be there soon. Looking for corpses so I can eat a little more. Oh man. So we're just killing these Death's monsters just to get some experience still, in case that wasn't already extremely obvious. Um, and we're almost there. At the very least, I know I'm not going to get surprised with some Etten or something as I pop up here during the orb run. Juggernaut. That's fun. Um, let's uh, stick to snakes. Snakes is a perfectly legitimate way to get rid of a Juggernaut. Because he is going to have a hard time killing them very quickly. And you know what? The forest is going to kill him too. So we use forest and it's whacking on him every turn that he's next to a tree for the most part. And then he, he ends up dying. Okay, here's what I was afraid of. We've got the Caustic Shrike. Uh, we've got a lot of Caustic Shrikes, probably. Um, we'll probably use a Potion of Resistance. I'm going to Meow and have him come to me. Uh, Caustic Shrike does not want to get Discorded, but you know it's probably for the best. Alright, we're going to swing. We're not going to use a Resistance Potion, even though I have quite a few. Um, and the reason for that is I'm reasonably sure I can walk away from these things. Um, or Apocalypse if I have to, and that's a resource that's not... Um, yeah. A resource that's not limited in the same way that a Resistance Potion is. Not that I think we're going to use up all eight of our Resistance Potions, but I'd rather have them if I don't have to use them. Probably being a little too stingy with those, honestly. With a lot of my resources, in fact, I mean, the fact that I haven't used much haste, and I have like 10 of them still, kind of shows that I'm being rather stingy. 
And it's probably why I'm in this position, trying to scum up some lives, or farm up some lives. Oh man. Oh boy. Okay. So that's not cool. Um, we've got the sorcerer we auto-explored into a hellfire. Let's just walk away. We are a little kitty, so we can move fast. We'll go to the hatch, and we'll rest. And we'll explore into him again, hopefully not getting immediately hellfire this time. Oh, it's a... It's a high priest. This one we kill. Ah, here we go. This is better. Mm. We'll dragon form. We'll Yaras him, because he hasted. And then we'll just hit him and kill him. Would have apoc there if I got um, Hellfired, probably. Just out of pure safety's sake. I uh, will Invis. Invis is always a good thing to use against, um, against stone giants. By the way, we're at 82%, so we should be getting that life back soon. I can sense this is going to be a very long video. I should probably just cut it short as soon as, um, uh, as soon as I, yeah, I'm probably going to cut the video short as soon as I finish the scumming and then, um, make the rest of Zod another video so that then I don't even really have to. Have to annotate. This lasted way longer than I thought it would, is the thing. Alright, 85%. Well, Power Leap is really good against Spriggans as well, um, since their main defense is the evasion. Power Leap doesn't care about evasion. Well, let's kill this. Uh, let's go ahead and kill this guy. Oh, we can't. Oh, that's cute. We've gotten the rock wall entrance to um, the Ziggurat. So... We can't get in there unless we um, unless we learn LRD or possibly chatter, I guess, or if we lure like a troll mage, like a troll earth mage, and have it blow it up for us. Then we're getting into kind of silly things. You used to have to do that if you sacrificed artifice and wanted to do slime you would probably have to lure something to the slime, the uh, bottom of slime, because in the past, um, the walls didn't come down. It's only relatively recently that the walls started coming down. Before, they just turned um, into rocks and you could dig through them. Ninety-two percent. Mm. Man, this is really, really tedious. Looks like we've cleared off depths four, so we have one more depths floor to clear off. And we'll finish it with this Reaper few more things. Just a few more. Now, unfortunately, um, on this floor, I want to say that things can spawn from, from Zot, so I'd rather not be scumming this floor, but what am I going to do, really?
Oh boy. Uh, let's discord this stuff. Ooh, we're starving. Um, uh, I think we'll just fight while starving. That's fine. There's going to be corpses here to eat. Oh, we lose consciousness. Consciousness. <laughs> we were fainting for a second there. Not good. Not sure how my food got so low. Hmm. We got some caustic strikes. We'll meow until they show up and we'll kill them, hopefully. If melee wants to work out for us. I may have to apocalypse here. Hey, uh, level 27 and we get the extra life. Let's finish off this caustic strike. How lame would it be if we just died? <laughs> and then I had to, uh, then I had to scum up another, another level. Okay, so we're at the max level now. I'm gonna end the video and I'll just do Zot. I'll finish out Zot in the next one. I'll just label this, like, gratuitous scumming or something. Uh... But yeah, even though we're level 27, we, we still will get more extra lives, up to two at a time, as I said previously. Um, we just have to get more experience. It's just a little less obvious when we're going to get it now. But we'll be careful, and we won't die again, hopefully. Uh, so until the next video, I hope, you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, I'm signing out.